Plattsmouth is taking its biggest step toward recovery after the 2019 floods. The city breaks ground on its new wastewater treatment plant tomorrow morning. And Plattsmouth mayor says the updated plant will be better for the environment. KTV News Watch 7's Alex McClune shows us how it's also a new direction for Plattsmouth. We're at the site of the new wastewater treatment plant southwest of Plattsmouth, where officials say building this critical piece of infrastructure here will keep it out of a flood prone area. We unfortunately, uh, as many cities along the river, discharge draw sewage into the river at that time. The mayor remembers feet of 2019 flood water inundating the old outdated facility, forcing the city to send that raw sewage into the Missouri River. EPA understood, we worked with them closely. Federal and state sources helped fund this two year project that will fully treat wastewater, control the cost of water rates and grow the city southwest into this industrial area away from the Platte and Missouri rivers, where the city's administrator fears climate models predict more frequent and intense floods. Even with just looking at a couple of floods in the last decade, there's been a lot of devastation and it, it, it does interrupt our business as usual. Hesitant to say there's no cost to ratepayers, these officials say the federal and state sources pay for 95% of this $67 million project. Our hope is to minimize that impact to ratepayers. A new corridor for Plattsmith. It just makes it much more convenient for city services to be available to areas, whether it's housing, industry, whatever. Here at the old wastewater treatment plant, the city says they plan to decommission this building and the city's current water treatment plant in the coming years. The city of Plattsmith says they'll then start sourcing their water from MUD. In Plattsmith, Alex McLoon, KETV Newswatch 7.